Okay, this is an, uh, a shot of the entire kit completely collapsed down. It's, I call it my high side. It's completely homemade camera crane. I've had it for a little while now, but uh, I thought I'd post this on YouTube just to show all the do-it-yourselves out there. You know, my, my idea. The only thing that I haven't made is I bought from B&H in New York the uh, remote head, which is in the Pelican case to the left there. Everything else is homemade. That's what we do. It's the homemade uh, pedestal base that I've made, a dolly. It works as a dolly for my tripod as well. And it turns into a pedestal for the camera crane. First of all, we open it up, but the nuts are nice and tight. Okay, the next part now is the pedestal. It sits on there like that. It's secured by cables. Again, all these cables, I bought the cable and everything from Bunnings and all the fittings. I went for stainless steel boat fittings. They're a lot more expensive, but they're a lot stronger as well. Okay. Once you put that pin through, then let's give you a look inside here. This houses the head, 10 inch monitor, and the controls and everything for the unit. All the cables, it's housing a lot of money there, so I spent the money and bought the um, Pelican hard case and I suggest anybody out there making this kind of stuff, don't be afraid to spend that kind of money to protect your investment. Placing the head on is just simply a matter of that bit there just slots in. And that's it, it's on. What locks it on is this cable now connects onto there, you just lift the head up. That's now connected onto there. So as you can see from that end now, it creates the parallelogram. So as it lifts up, it stays level. 